let's learn how to create beautiful split monogram SVGs in Illustrator in this simple tutorial. So with Illustrator open, let's just quickly create a new file. So come to File New. I'm just going to set up a basic web document. So we'll select Web Large and we'll keep all these settings as they are. We're going to export for SVG. So remember, this is scalable. So we don't need to worry too much about specific dimensions. So from here, click Create. So let's get started with some text. So I find for this type of design, it's best to have a strong serif condensed font and then an elegant script font to go with it. So if I come to my type tool and just click on the canvas to create some point type, I set my paragraph to center align and let's type out the surname that we're going to use. So I'm just going to use Matthews for this example. Select it with selection tool. Let's hold Alt or Option and Shift and just scale this up and let's change the font. So I'm going to go with Richmond Display. Let's go with Richmond Display Bold, select Enter and let's use the Align Panel, Align to Artboard and just horizontal and vertically center this. We can scale this up a little more as well. Once the text is selected with Selection Tool, come to your Appearance Panel. If you can't find this, go to Window Appearance, select Characters and let's add a new fill to it by clicking this button here. So let's leave the fill as black for now. You can change it, this to any color you like. With the fill selected, press FX, and let's go to Convert to Shape and Rectangle. Now we're going to add scalable rectangles to the top and bottom of the text. So set the extra width to zero, make sure your preview's set on, and then change the height of your rectangle accordingly. So I'm going to set mine, let's start with minus 140 and check preview. So you go, that's pretty thin. So if I select it, I can then use the arrow keys up and down, and remember check preview on, to make this as thin or as thick as I like. So about 144, I think that looks good. And from there, press OK. So now I've added the rectangle effect to this specific fill. So with this fill still selected, come back to FX and come to Distort and Transform and Transform. Now make sure your previous checked on. And from here now, we're going to move this up on the vertical axis so that it is above the text. So we just use the vertical slider. And you might find the vertical slider isn't enough. So then you'll have to go in and manually change the pixel. So you can just highlight this and use the arrow keys. So let's just press down until we get it to about the height we're happy with. So that's looking good. From there, press OK. So now we're going to duplicate this below. So to do this, let's just collapse this fill and then let's just click and drag this layer down to the create new icon at the bottom and this will create a duplicate. So release. And from there now, I've got two of these fills, both the same. So all I have to do is change the transform on the second one. So let's open this fill up, click transform. And now let's do the same on the vertical, but we're going to go in the opposite direction. So if I use the vertical slider, you can see this one now is going down to the bottom and again, select it and just use the arrow keys just to get it kind of to the perfect amount. You're going to need to eyeball this a little bit, but take your time with it. So I'm happy with that. That looks good. So if we press OK and just zoom out, there we go. Now we've got my text. We've got my top and bottom rectangle. Now the great thing about this is this is fully customizable. So I come in with the type tool and say if I delete or add letters, the top and bottom rectangles move with it. At any time, I can also change the font and the size of this text. So you can use this as your base to go ahead and create multiple versions of the split monogram SVGs. Just a word of warning, if you change the size or the font, you potentially are going to need to change the position in size of these top and bottom rectangles. But the good thing is, again, these remain fully customizable. So all you have to do is come back into your appearance panel, select the rectangle you want to change, and you can either go to the rectangle panel panel or the transform panel and make any changes here accordingly and click OK. So once we've made this base text effect, let's select it with selection tool, hold out our option and let's click and drag out a duplicate and put it on the side of the canvas. So we can come back now and use this as our base layer to create multiple versions of this design. Now let's add the script letter behind the text layer. So come over to my fill and let's just say, let's just add yellow. This is just for reference. I'm going to grab a rectangle tool. I'm just going to click and drag a rectangle over this. Just going to select this selection tool, right click and arrange, send to the back. We're going to delete this later, but I'm just using this for reference now so we can see what happens with the split. So from there, grab the type tool, click to create some point type. I can collapse this appearance panel now. We can use this later. So obviously we've got Matthew, so let's go with M for Matthews and let's change the font to a very elegant script. So let's go with LTC Francis. This is a really beautiful script font. Select with selection tool and let's hold out our option shift and let's just drag this up so that it's a lot bigger. And what we can do now is right click it, arrange 
and send to the back. So this will give us a good idea of where the split is going to happen. So I can scale this and I can move the letter around until I'm happy with the positioning. Now what you might find is you might want to have the bottom of the letter say down here, but then maybe you want the top up here. So what you can do is create a duplicate piece of point type by selecting this, holding Alt or Option, and then clicking and dragging out. So now we've got two versions of this. And to make my life easier, if I come back to Rectangle Tool, and I'm just gonna click and drag out a simple rectangle over the top of this here. Select with selection tool and let's select both of these. So let's select point type, hold shift, select this box and I'm going to create clipping mask, object clipping mask and make. I now clip the top point type inside this clipping mask. So I can double click to go in, select the type and I can move this around inside the clipping mask until I'm happy with how it lines up. Use the arrows to come back out and then I can arrange this bottom one here so it looks like it's kind of moving seamlessly from top to bottom. So once I'm happy with that, I can select off. So once I'm happy with the design, I need to start expanding everything so that then we can export this as SVG. So as we did up here, let's make a copy of this. So use selection tools, highlight it all, hold out our option and click and drag out to duplicate. So now we can return to this point at any time. So from there, let's start expanding everything here. So I'm gonna select this top M. Let's release this from the clipping mask. So clipping mask release, we can get rid of this here. Select the text, right click and create outlines and do the same on this bottom text. Select, right click, create outlines. Now let's use the Pathfinder to cut out these shapes. So let's grab a rectangle, let's click and drag this one over the top of the top M. Select with selection tool, hold shift to select the M below it. And then if we come to our Pathfinder, window Pathfinder, let's minus from front. And now we've got that top M here. And now let's repeat this with the bottom M. So do the same rectangle. Let's click and drag a rectangle over the top. Select with selection tool, hold shift, select the M below it and minus from front. So we've expanded that top M, we've expanded the bottom M. Now let's expand this texture. So select it with selection tool, object, expand appearance, and then object, expand, object and fill, press okay. We right click, ungroup. Now you can see we've got the individual layers here. So we've got that top rectangle, we've got that bottom rectangle, and we've got the letters here. And finally then, let's just go in with direct selection tool and select this yellow layer at the back and just backspace to delete it. So now our split monogram is ready. So if I use selection tool, let's just select everything on the canvas. Remember now this is all completely expanded and outlined into flat vector artwork. Just click and drag this up and let's just hold outdoor option and shift and just scale this down a touch so it fits on the canvas. So this is ready for export. I'm now going to do a couple more designs just to show you how quickly you can kind of put these together. So if we come to the artboard tool, just command or control minus to zoom out and let's just do two more. So we'll add two more artboards using the add artboard button. So two and three, press selection tool to come out to the artboard panel. And the nice thing is now I can reference these two source files here that I made earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and create two more of these and then we will export them all at the same time. So feel free to skip ahead to the export section or follow along and watch me create more of these. So now that we have all our designs, it's time to export. Now you can export the artboards as they are. However, a nice step I like to take is to fit the artboard to the size of the design. Otherwise you're going to export additional artboard. So to do that, selection tool, let's select this artwork here, come to my artboard tool, make sure this artboard selected, and then under artboard options, select fit to selected art, and that will now create an artboard that is no bigger than the art itself. Come back to selection tool, and let's do this with Lopez, select, artboard, scroll up, fit to selected art, 
So that's my second art board. And then finally, let's do this one last time. Let's grab Williams, art board, fit selected art. And now my three artboards are only the size of the art they contain and no bigger. For export purposes, let's rename the artboards so we can go to Window, Artboards, and let's rename Artboard 1 by double clicking, call that Matthews. Artboard 2, let's call this Lopez, and Artboard 5, Williams. And now that my artboards have renamed, probably a good time, should have done this earlier, but remember to save the original AI file. So file, save, save on computer. So I'm just going to save this to my DWD images. So I'm just going to call this split monogram 01, illustrator file, press save. So we now have the source file saved. And from here, let's export this as SVGs. So file, export, export for screens. So here's all my artboards, one, two, three. They've now been named Matthews, Lopez, and Williams, so they will export with those names as SVGs. So either select all or arrange. So I'm gonna go with all because I want all three exported. Choose an export location. So I'm gonna set my DWD images folder, create subfolders and set format. And then in your format, set SVG. Press your settings button here. And under SVG, we can set our export format settings. So set our cell into presentation attributes, set font to convert to outlines. This should already be done, but this is just another layer in case you forgot to do it. And object IEDs we can set as layer names. From there, save settings. And from there, we can go ahead and click export artboard. So let's check our exports. Put a finder. Let's come to my images folder. So here we go. There's my original AI file. And then if I go to my SVG folder, here's my three exports here, Lopez, Matthews, and Williams. So let's grab Lopez, right click. Let's just double check this, open in Illustrator. And there you have it. There is my SVG file, fully scalable, ready to be used for print on demand services. And there you have it, gorgeous split monogram, SVGs for print on demand and lots of other uses. I really hope you found the tutorial helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.